Hi there YouTube, this is the Magnus bringing you another Total War Warhammer online ladder battle. Uh, this time my opponent went with the green skins and I decided to keep working on my Empire game. Uh, so I brought three great swords, four spearmen, one swordsman, three crossbowmen, two demigriff knights with halberds, one amber wizard in the air, and the general. Uh, my opponent brought a full stack army, so uh, I'm going to be pretty horribly outnumbered here, to be honest. Uh, he brought two orc boar, orc boar boy biggins, two orc boar boys, forest goblin spider rider archers, as far as his cavalry contingent over here. And then you see he's got no less than four orc boys here, and then another orc boy, another orc boy, another, another. So for a total of eight orc boys. He's got three units of goblins over here. He's got uh, orc air boys, two of those. And let me see if I'm forgetting anybody here. Uh, quite, quite a big army. Oh, of course, Grimgor Ironhide, which is hiding here amongst his men, I believe. Oh, there's an, a unit of Savage Orc Biggins and Grimgor Ironhide. So a very large army, 1,500 men strong. So he outnumbers me by about 500. Uh, I laid out my units in this fashion with my infantry up front, crossbows in the back, each with an extra spearman next to them. Uh, on the far right here, I have my demigriffs and my flying guys here towards the center for deployed. Now... Uh, when I saw this, it it was taking me quite some time to figure out exactly how to tackle this. Uh, so my, my first response was I, I probably should box up because I'm being outnumbered here. And I didn't feel there was a whole lot I could do with my flying crew initially because he does have uh, the Orc Air Boys, which can be uh, uh, quite a problem for him as well as the... Uh, Forest Goblin Spider Riders because anything it does poison is going to slow you down and make you easier to nail to the ground. So first I bring my Demigriffs over and kind of get them up on the hill here with me. As you can see better from his vantage point, it is quite a hill. Uh, he's pushing forward and I notice he's got infantry that are coming around this rock. Look like they're going to try to do this and we're going to have one of these numbers. So what I do in response is I'm going to push out uh, my spearmen on each side and form my little box and I'm taking the demigriffs over here to be able to face his cavalry. Now I also believe that's not going to be enough alone to deal with his cavalry so I'm bringing the amber wizard and my general and my newly spawned feral manticore over to give an advantage and what I'm planning to do is flock a doom these guys uh, once the whole engagement begins, which here comes his forces. There goes down the flock of doom. Then you're going to see my infantry advance here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and hold on for that. I'm waiting for flock of doom to take its full effect on this side before I react. And boom, there goes my infantry pushing out. Now here I know I'm, I'm in trouble. This is the soft side uh, of the ordeal. So... I have to make sure this is the strong side, demigriffs and spears going after his cav, but these two cav move very quickly and get right into one of my great swords. My crossbowmen are backing me up, and here I'm just hoping I can hang in there, but one of my spearmen already went down. Over here with the cavalry battle, uh, you can see uh, things are going in my favor as far as the cavalry, but it's still you know precarious at best. I decide to send out the flyers to deal with his missile troops and then I am going to bring one of them back uh, to dive into the back of this giant uh, <laughs> giant blob he's got going on there hoping I can do something about them. This is my mistake. I didn't realize those spearmen were chasing them uh, so that was a problem. Now the general of the empire comes in and you're going to see their, their leadership goes down some so they're not quite as effective. And I'm just using him to try to push and splash a little bit and buy myself time so he doesn't get into my crossbowman line. In the meantime, his, most of his stuff in the middle, especially his cavalry, has been pushed back. Uh, and I still have some demigriffs left to play with, which is a good thing. 
bringing back some spears to get a rear charge on this side. Now my right side completely breaks down and he gets right into the crossbowman, which is a, a real problem to say the least. Uh, but now the left is manageable, uh, but he still has a good bit in reserve that's rested up and returning. Now heading back over here, you're gonna see I'm using my flying core, the best of my best, to really beat the hell out of all these units. I also did put down a flock of doom, and now I'm gonna go for uh, Grimgore Ironhide, uh, with all of his units pretty shaken up around the field or recovering from being shaken up, I do believe if I can put down Grimgore, uh, they're going to have had enough. So Grimgore very quickly gets spiked down by a great sword and my three flying units. And there you see he's routed at this point. And it's just a matter of a couple of seconds before everything else gives up. Now, I, I felt like this was an interesting replay because... The battle happens, like, you see me trying to position, find a way to sort this whole thing out and how to handle it, and you see him, you know, coming forward, two strong flanks, one with cav, one with lots of infantry, but that, you know, there's like that dance, and it's a little slow, and then the battle happens, and then all the decisions happen in such a short, short period of time, and then boom, before you know it, the battle's over in a decisive fashion. Uh, so as you can see, uh, my infantry in general did well, but of course the great swords were the best. My crossbowmen were fantastic; they caused a lot of kills. The uh, demigriffs did well. The manticore, who I summoned, of course did well, and my flying squad really did a lot to break morale and, of course, to take out their their grimgore ironhide. If you look at my opponent's army, it was pretty balanced all around as far as effectiveness. That's usually not a good sign, but you'll see they have a lot of health. What, what I really did was, was use the fear to my advantage to break their morale. Uh, all three flying units had fear, and I also believe they have terror. So if you use them in the right way, you can quickly route even a very large army, especially because when they're a large army, they're usually cheaper, and cheaper usually means lower leadership. So a good game to my opponent. But uh, I definitely would try a, a different composition, especially if you're going to deal with Flock of Doom and the kind of build that I brought. Now this very well may work against other Empire armies, though. It's a lot to deal with, and it certainly intimidated me out of the gate. And if I would have overreacted, and I guess this is my tip uh, for this video, is if I would have overreacted... Or, or acted too quickly saying oh I don't know what to do but I heard better hurry up and do something I probably would have done the wrong thing which have there could have been many things so the best thing I could do is I took the time to think try to find a way to counter and uh, was fortunate enough uh, to be able to do that so anyways uh, if you liked the video you learned something or you just like me please hit like uh, please hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. As always, I want to thank everybody for their support and remind you that this is the Magnus, and I'll see you soon on the ladder.